from gardening to animals to extreme renovations. Welcome to Homesteading at College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today we're planting broccoli and cauliflower. Well, today I'm going to plant my broccoli and cauliflower. Uh, everything's conspiring against me today. I came out and my easy go wouldn't start. So <clears throat> I have to uh, garden with a tractor. I don't want to carry all this stuff out there by hand. Uh, so what we've got, uh, of course we've got a hoe. We've got my universal planter. I'll show you how to use it. Just a piece of PVC pipe about 32 inches long. And we've got our coal crops. And we've got our broccoli and cauliflower. I won't plant Brussels sprouts till June. I'm going to try a fall. I've tried for two years to do Brussels sprouts. And I just haven't had a whole lot of luck. So I'm going to try a fall planting. Me and Crystal love them. So that's something I'd really like to have of our own in the freezer. I've been buying them and putting them in the freezer. Uh, that's about the only vegetable that we buy. So I've got to figure out a way to do that. I'm not planting any cabbage right now because the cabbage I want to plant it uh, for a fall crop to make kraut. We Last year we had about 50 pounds of cabbage that we put in our freezer and uh, we've only used about half of that so I don't need cabbage in the freezer you know everything I plant is based on what we've got in the freezer I don't have any broccoli I don't have any cauliflower in the freezer so it's time to get some uh, I've got cabbage in the freezer so there's no time to plant any but now I'm gonna plant a fall crop of cabbage because I need uh, sauerkraut so we're going to do a fall set and make sauerkraut out of it. But before I get started, uh, one of the first things I want to do is I want to make sure that these little seedlings are covered in water. I want them to be soggy. And the reason being, that way I don't have to water them out in the field. So we're going to water these. Now I bought these, uh, life conspired. Uh, some things came up that were just more important than getting the coals planted in the basement. So you saw the other video we planted our peppers and, and tomatoes and other stuff in the basement that's going to be ready about the first of uh, mid-May. But this, there were just some things going on that were more important than me saving $10 on a, a flat of plants. I buy my flats from a from a little store who buys up from the Amish and or Mennonites. I don't know if they're Amish or Mennonites. But anyway, they buy them from a, a greenhouse and crab orchard and I get them for a quarter apiece. So, win-win. So I'm gonna get these watered and then we'll get them in the garden. I really don't like gardening with my tractor. Uh, it tends to spill stuff out of the bucket and you have to be real slow. And uh, the tractor tends to want to hurt my back. I really wish my easy go had been working, but I know what's the matter with it. The cable that goes to the choke control has broke. The cable hasn't broke, but the choke control arm broke off. So I'm gonna have to put another carburetor on it. I keep spares, so. I'll do that uh, maybe in another video. I might just go ahead and do it because I don't have time to film it. But I'm going to go ahead and get these in the garden. So what I've got, I've got 60 broccoli plants and 39, that right, 38 uh, cauliflower plants. Now that should give me somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to 60 pounds of broccoli in the freezer and plenty of broccoli to eat. And the same with the cauliflower. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the ground. I'll show you how to do it, how we do it. Now I plant in wide rows for this stuff so I can cultivate it with the tractor. So I can run my tiller right down in between the rows and cultivate with the tractor. 
Now, broccoli, I space it at 18 inches. And cauliflower, I space it at two feet. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get at that and show you what to do. Okay, got my little tray table. Got uh, my plants on it. So I'm ready to start planting. So, how do I do that? Well, I use a pipe planter. Let me show you. Now, this is about a 32 inch piece of pipe. It's uh, three inches in diameter, and it's exactly what I use to plant. So I'm gonna go ahead over here and show you how to use it. Now, all you do is you take the planter and you set it down. You kick it to the side, and it will dig right into the dirt. You pull some dirt up around it, and you can turn it loose at this point. And you get a plant. You take that plant, pop it out of its cell, put it in there, drop it, pull it out, and step it in. And that's it. I'm gonna do another one. Like I say, I do these about 18 inches apart. It's in. Pull some dirt up around it. Take a plant. Drop it in. And step it in. Now, I've got uh, 60 of these to put in, so I best get at it. Okay, folks, the broccoli's in. Uh, took me about 45 minutes to put all 60 in. Uh, I took two or three breaks. My little back ain't feeling too good this morning. So I just took my time. Uh, I'm not in a rush to get this stuff done. My dad was always in a, in a hurry. Whenever we worked on anything, we had to go at a run. And I find myself wanting to do that. But if I don't pace myself, I wind up ruining my day. So I'm going to go ahead and get the cauliflower in. But what I thought was, I would take it off the stand so you get kind of a bird's eye view. Now I'll have to do the pipe one-handed and it may look a little awkward. I've got one of those GoPro cameras, but I never know where the thing's looking. So I'm gonna try and do it with a handheld camera. So I'm gonna take you off the stand and give it a shot. Now, anytime I stop, I leave the pipe stuck up in the ground. That keeps me from having to bend over and I know where to come back to. So I brought my little table over here because I know I'm going to be doing this one-handed. So I'll try not to get my old hand in the way and uh, show you how this works. You just take a plant out, put it right down in there. It'll go all the way to the bottom. And there it is in the hole. And you just kick the dirt, step it in, and that plant's ready to go. Let's do another one. I've stepped in my spot that I need to do it in. Then you pull the dirt up around it. Take a plant, put it in. And there's the dirt around it. You pull the dirt up, just step it in and you're ready to move on. Now these, uh, these cauliflower, I plant them about two feet apart. So they get a little farther treatment. 18 inches, the broccoli. Now some of the broccoli, I may have got them a foot apart. But now my rows are six feet apart. The reason I do a six foot row, let me put you back on the tripod. Now my rows are six feet apart. Each of the, broccoli, of the cauliflower plants are two feet apart. The broccoli plants are 18 inches apart. Now my rows are six feet apart. Well, why do I make my rows six feet apart? Well, my tiller is 48 inches. Now broccoli and cauliflower have great big leaves and they spread out. So I want to have room to bring my tiller down by them all the time. All the time, so I'm not having to do all that digging with a hoe. Uh, I want to be able to bring my tiller through the row at any time. So that makes it so much easier for working with. All right, I'm going to get at it 
and finish these up. 96 plants in, uh, wound up being three and a half rows here in this in the kitchen garden. The kitchen garden's only about 50 feet long, maybe 60. Uh, so I didn't bend over once. Well, I like to tell you, I didn't bend over once, but the truth is I had to bend over twice because I dropped the, the pipe planter. So if you like this kind of stuff, if you like this homesteading kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. It'll let you know when our videos come out. We try and upload videos every Sunday. Sometimes there's a bunch, sometimes there's only one, but we try and get something out every Sunday. So it's time for me to get on to the next thing.